Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the battlefield. Here, we'll be playing Grant Lee Sherman, Civil War Generals 2, a historical turn-based strategy game published by Sierra Entertainment in 1997. This game, which simulates the American Civil War, had a popular following among American strategy gamers, particularly given the game's replayability and multiplayer. However, I only started playing this game recently, so I wouldn't expect any strategic miracles from me. Oh, hold on, let me fucking close some. I originally got the idea of playing this game from SKS, a Let's Player who shares my passion for history and strategy. I've mentioned him before several times in my videos, most notably in my Colonization series. SKS himself just started playing this game today as the Confederate Army in a grand campaign, and I'll be serving as his counter by playing as the Union in a campaign of my own. He has more experience with the game than I do, and he's an actual American history teacher. He did something with his degree which didn't involve living in a cardboard box. So you should go watch his Civil War General 2 videos before watching mine. Check the video description to learn more. No, seriously. Take a gander at what Future Grimmoth has written in the video description and go from there. You should stop watching this video now. You'll thank me later. Seriously. An hour from now, you'll think to yourself, Hot fucking damn, I'm so fucking glad Father Grimm took care of me. Besides, SKS deserves your attentive trolling, trust me. It'll only inspire him to rage more and more at his foolish errors. True story. <sighs> anyway, for those of you who are too fucking stubborn to mosey along, I reckon I'll go ahead and give you an on-the-fly tutorial. We'll actually be starting the campaign in this video so you better learn quick. Oh, and before I begin, a brief synopsis of the Civil War. The American Civil War, of course. For those of you not in the know, brother fought brother in the United States from 1861 to 1865. There were two sides in the conflict. The home team, that's the Union Army. The North, the United States of America, that's them. And the away team, the Confederacy, the South, the Confederate States of America, each with their own set of ideologies. Ultimately, the Union won, and the United States of America remained, well, united. Cool story, huh? Anyway, I suppose I am going to temporarily stop the video. I need to conduct a sound test and adjust my volume levels further. I'm kind of getting deafened, so be right back. There we go, volume levels adjusted. I can hear myself think, I think. As a matter of fact, oh, by the way, I pulled up the options screen. Here it is. These are my settings. I'll be playing an intermediate difficulty with full visibility off and line of sight on. Full visibility basically means you can see the entire map and see what your enemy is doing at all times. I will not be playing with that on. Unlike SKS, whom I can't fault, as it feels like the AI knows where you are all the time. They just can't shoot at you. We'll be playing with some random selections of music, although I might disable that because it gets pretty repetitive. Always after combat reports, sound effects, video clips, auto resolution switching, sure. Scrolling speed, movement speed, I might adjust those. As the game continues. Confirm that, and the campaign that I'll be playing is, lo and behold, the Civil War. This is the big one. Holy shit! You see there's all sorts of varieties of campaigns, but the Civil War ties it all together. Haven't played this campaign. Haven't played any of the campaigns. I just tested out some battles, so uh, we'll see how well this works. Confederate Army, Union Army. Let's go! The Civil War. This is the big one. Every battle in both theaters is linked and cross-linked in intricate fashion. Your performance in each battle will determine where your army must fight next, usually automatically, although sometimes you will face choices. This full war campaign will almost never play out the same way twice, although due to Civil War Generals 2, Civil War Generals 2's attention to historical detail, victory is somewhat weighted toward the real-life winners. Play as the Union and try to avoid the Norse early embarrassment in the Eastern Theater. Play as the South and attempt to do as well in the West as the Confederacy did in the early East. Whether you chose to fight, I presume that should say choose, 
Whether you choose to fight for federalism and the integrity of a great nation, or to establish your own homeland and defend your way of life, you face a long and torturous path to victory. These are the two most um, well-known uh, commanders in the, uh, the American Civil War. Ulysses S. Grant, who commanded the Union Army, and Robert E. Lee, who commanded, um, who eventually came to pretty much command the, uh, oversee the entire uh, operations of the Confederacy. However, these weren't always in place, particularly not in fucking 1861. And, uh, <laughs> whether they were the most famous popular, pe or popular people uh, during the Civil War itself, I certainly cannot claim that they were. But that doesn't matter. Let's continue. All right, Union Commander, prepare to issue orders. Turn one out of 21. Hold on, let me close out of something here. All right, welcome to the battlefield, the Battle of Blackburn's Ford, which no, took sir. place on July 18th, 1861. This was in Virginia, and it was basically like, oh, what a great idea, LOL, if we Union soldiers fucking march out to go meet the Confederates. Um, this prefaces the Battle of Bull Run, or Manassas Junction, the first major battle of the Civil War. And uh, Black Blackburn's uh, Ford results in a Confederate victory, historically. Uh, basically, our uh, commander here decides that before Bull Run begins, he wants to faint and uh, get more intel on the Confederate Army's forces. And so he rushes off to go off and do so, and he is completely fucking repelled. He is surprised and absolutely beaten back. Um, numbers suggest about 3,000 Union soldiers were on the field for this battle compared to 7,000 Confederate soldiers. Uh, casualties were pretty minimal, uh, less than 100 for each side, although the Union had slightly more. But um, the commander, whose name I have forgotten, absolutely failed to gain too much intel and so for Bull Run, he eventually decides to sweep over... Oh, fuck, I don't even know if you can fucking see my cursor. Oh, shit. I changed that during the middle of recording. I guess I should test to see whether you can see that. It's always a great idea to do multiple recording flaws, and I gotta stop clicking wrong, incorrectly, uh... With old games like this, where my fucking setup to record this game properly with music and sound is fucking not ridiculous. Anyway, uh, Camtasia Studio wasn't recording my little mini-map cursor because I told it not to record uh, the regular cursor. So yeah, anyway. Confederates won that one, and eventually, uh, as I was saying, in Bull Run, uh, Union Army swept, I think it was McDowell? I think. Uh, swept in in an attempt to break the flank of the Confederates by attacking from this direction. And that ultimately failed, too. But we're not at that battle yet. And hopefully we don't get into such a desperate situation because we're going to kick the Confederacy's ass. Let's enable the menu. Disable the mini-map, because that's a pain in the ass right now. And let's take a look at what we got here. Alright, here are our troops. Starting here. We have some infantry, artillery, more infantry, more artillery, more infantry, more infantry, and more artillery. Somewhere here are the Confederates. Despite being such a large map, this only focuses on one small aspect, Blackburn's Ford. Now, uh, let's go ahead and enable something here called Victory Points. These are all Confederate-held locations. Our ultimate, you know, objective would be to go and snag those. However, I'm going to tell you, from my limited experience, I did playtest this battle. And I'm going to fucking tell you, that's goddamn impossible. Uh, the battles in this game are predisposed to whoever was originally victorious, and the Confederates here certainly far outnumbered the Union, so much so that I am not going to uh, attempt to storm that ford. Uh, normally, the uh, defenders would be set up to actually defend, however, I guess due to the Confederacy's numerically superior advantage, or perhaps given the fact that these don't seem like uh, secure victory points to hold or something, I don't know. The Confederacy actually sweeps up in an attempt to eliminate you entirely. Therefore, I will actually be assuming a defensive posture on this hill and wait for the superior Confederate army to come to me. Because if I rush down there to meet them, 
They get reinforcements quicker. Their starting units on this map are, well, stronger. And that's kinda not what I want to face. Originally in the Civil War, uh, at the beginning, uh, the Confederacy did hold a significant advantage. It wasn't until uh, later on when um, the Union were able to basically bleed the Confederacy dry. So let's go ahead and move around some units here. I want this artillery piece to head here to this hill level. This artillery piece can move... Let's go ahead and turn on terrain height. Yeah, right there. And I think I'm going to move this guy a bit south. Now, my troops here, infantry, uh, most of the units in the game have two different formations. Currently, my infantry are in a march formation, which helps them move quickly across the land. Um, that's good, because if in your, say, your other formation, a combat formation, and you're moving around a lot, that actually damages the effectiveness of your unit. Um, each unit has its own set of ratings here, organization, health, and morale. Organization, health, morale. That's a unit type and a number count. Currently there are 666 effective men in this unit. Basically units who will fight. You can see each one's weapon. That is hand-to-hand, -hand no. That's like their, uh, I think the 91 is their hand-to-hand. I don't remember everything. I'm just going to say yes. That's what it means. And, uh... <laughs> I need to pull up my fucking quick reference card. Nah, fuck it. Uh... Well, maybe these all have good... Maybe they all have good weapons. 91 is somehow their firepower. Like, their, um... Weapon damage. And their 34 is their hand-to-hand. -hand. I don't know. I think it's the other way around. I think my guys suck. I think it's a good statement to make. We'll see whenever reinforcements arrive, because they'll be better. They have organization, health, morale, quality, experience, uh, movement points, supply points, and firepower, which is pretty important. Uh, uh, the higher a unit's firepower is, combined with morale, the better that unit tends to do. But there are numerous circumstances on the battlefield which can prove that not to be true. You want your units as well rested and as capable as possible. And you really want the enemy to attack into you, I guess, while you're in a defensive posture instead of the other way around. So I'm going to see what I can do here. I want to bring my strongest units up to form the core of the center line that I'll be forming. So let's go ahead and move some guys. I think that you here, as the weakest one, yeah, you are, should go, say, here. You should move here, off the road. Roads help facilitate travel, and you will move here. And hopefully the Confederacy actually does what I, does what I think it will do, and attack me. Because if they just move to that hill and just fortify themselves, I... Well, we'll see. And the victory points thing, uh, you can trust that a bit at the beginning. Like, those are objectives, but... At battle hexes, if there are like a lot of battles are fought in certain places, you can make your own victory points. Which can easily take care of what you need it to take care of. So, let's go ahead and end our turn. By the way, this game is old. My setup to run it is kind of uh, buggy and crashy. It's going to be a definite problem, so I will be saving every turn, though I make no plans to reload. I think I'll reserve the right to reload once per scenario. If something catastrophically unlucky happens, but, uh, uh, we'll just save this one, black, oh fuck, we can't really have long names, we'll just go LGWI01, and we have that, there we go, problem solved. Alright, so let's go ahead and end our turn here. Now, the Union troops moved around, but we don't have any intel on what they're doing. I guess I might be, uh, I don't know, cheating a little bit due to my map, map knowledge, but like I said, it feels like the AI cheats pretty much all the fucking time anyway. Let's go ahead and... I think I want to move this unit a bit further up, too, to like there. Hmm. 
I could keep him on the 7, though. Yeah, I'll go ahead and keep him on the 7. Move forward a bit, change formation, move forward a bit, change formation. That way I can actually uh, set up the artillery batteries at the same turn. They can't move and fire at the same turn, and it takes a lot of fucking movement points for them to uh, set up the artillery. But here, I actually have a not bad line of sight. I'll be able to attack any approaching enemy units. Now, uh, you... let's see... I'm moving you... here. And you go there. You... get into fighting formation, and you do the same. Alright. Suppose all of you can do that. That's where I want to keep you fuckers. In turn. I didn't save that turn. I'm a terrible person. I'll save now. Still no sight of the enemy just yet, but uh, it could take them several days for them to organize everything, because that's supposed to be a defensive posture for them to organize everything and march across to me. So, where will we be fighting at, I guess? No labels around here. Guess this isn't meant to be a battle zone. Yet it will be. That's fine. I hope it will be. I'm gonna have my units dig in here to increase their defensive uh, stances. And then I'll just have them rest up. You'll notice that some of my, uh, well actually all my regiments are suffering from you know, they're not at full fighting effectiveness, and by having them sit around, uh, that will increase their effectiveness, if you understand. Oversupply units. Have I spotted any enemies yet? The answer to that question is no. But they have taken this victory point. Notice that the, uh, the stars and bars are there now. Go ahead and rest up, and you'll notice various statistics are improving as I tell them to rest. They do rest better if they're not in combat formation. Oh, well, what the fuck can you do? And I'm just gonna have you guys dig in too. Why not? I should have done that sooner, but well, shit happens. Still no intel on the enemy. Perhaps they will not come marching suicidally into my front line, and this battle will be a complete and total failure. <laughs> it would be funny, wouldn't it? Now, this fucking worked in my test fight. They actually came up here to try and crush my soul, damn it, so I would be totally offended if they did not do that this time. Oh, hey! I totally didn't see you guys at all! Good job escaping my sight, so they're charging me with artillery first, it appears? And it's limbered up artillery. Well, as tempting as it is for me to leave my defensive postures and go crush their souls, I will refrain from doing so. However, I will attack them with my own artillery. There was a little reenactment battle cutscene there, I completely skipped past it, I'm sorry. I'll try not doing that this time. Here you go. Look at that. High def quality action right there. Ooh! Wounded a leader. Oh my. That is unfortunate just for you. You are under fire. Aw, oh, they actually set up though. That's unfortunate. That unit though is not set up yet. And no. I don't want to charge down, I mean, if you think about it, that unit really doesn't have a great attack angle anyway, right there at the bottom, at least I don't think so. So I don't see any reason to go ahead and charge so foolishly. You don't have any attack angles, it appears, so you can go ahead and rest. And so can all of you. Alright, next turn. Here we go! We have some enemies approaching, and I have a reinforcement unit. The Iron Brigade, which... I don't know about the historical accuracy of this being led by, uh, W.T. Sherman. For those of you who uh, do not know that much about American history, uh, General Sherman is widely unpopular still in the so South. He led a, uh, pretty much a slash-and-burn campaign to ravage the Confederacy 
and pretty much end the war much sooner than it had would have been otherwise. For that, he is despised down here to this day. I know people who uh, vehemently hate the man. At any rate, he has a very high firepower, and I will enjoy him immensely. Now, it's time for us to... I'm no longer going to attack the artillery battery, because they'll counterfire, and that's dumb. Instead, I'm going to target this unit which has decided, for whatever reason, to make itself conspicuous on top of this hill. You'll notice that this damage lowers their firepower, and the smidge of morale, and subtracts a few casualties. The primary thing that it does that you want it to do is lessens their firepower, which makes them less effective units in situations. And you know, it does hurt their morale. It kinda hurts to get shot at like this. Especially multiple times. Morale this unit is down to 69. Meanwhile, my guys are all gonna rest and resupply. Uh, no, don't wanna rename the regiment. I don't know. I might rename the fucking, the people who don't matter. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see how I feel about that later on. Okay. By the way, there's an officer report thing where you can check your schedule of uh, reinforcement units that will be arriving. You should do that at the start of every battle and continue to check as the game progresses. I already, I already know a bit about unit reinforcement things because I have played this battle before. And, uh, yeah. By the way, this battle is much more easy much easier as the Confederates. Uh, all of my battles, uh, except for my little test run before I started today, were as the Confederates. Damn. Let's go ahead and, uh, alright. Confederate artillery has attacked me, and it did a few things. As Confederate artillery is wont to do. Alright! More reinforcement units have arrived. Reinforcement have arrived! Go ahead and get Sherman down there. He will be vital. Another artillery unit. Always welcome. And another infantry unit who shall be marched down. Look at his firepower. A whopping 82. Yeah. Those guys with the muskets? Yeah. That's range damage. And that's hand-to-hand -hand there, the 85. Then you look at these guys in comparison, and it's like, oh boy, <laughs> we're looking at a problem here. That's why you need to wait for your reinforcements, otherwise you will get outclassed. In my humble opinion. What the fuck do I know, right? So, these assholes, it, it's also like the AI does do a pretty fucking good job of knowing where your dudes can shoot your artillery and will painstakingly stay out of that range. I'm gonna go ahead and fire at the artillery there. Actually lose firepower. They didn't lose any, but we each inflicted one casualty on the other, which is all right. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot this infantry unit that I can hurt. 12 morale. The, uh, the morale bonuses you get from like victories like this are only temporary, but the victory points are certainly gonna be useful. Music? Where did you go? Sound? Where did you go? Whatever. Music just had a little hiccup, weird moment there, I guess. Whatever. Now, I could attack out from my defensive positions, and I think I'm actually going to do that with these guys. I mean, you take a look at prepared cover, though. I've prepared, well, natural cover. What? It's the same? Digging in, well, I could let them attack uphill, I guess. I just don't want uh, this guy to end up getting isolated and have to deal with two-on-one assaults. Consequently, I will forego my digging in and attack. I'm gonna have... This unit is weaker anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack into him. You can see, uh, I inflicted more casualties, although not by a whole lot, but I did damage firepower there significantly. And now I'm going to attack into him like this. Concentrated attacks are more effective, and if you can uh, execute a very deadly rear attack, well, it is what I just said. Deadly. I don't think I'm going to move... Oh, fuck it. Why not? 
You want to go and fucking isolate yourself? Although, see, that's the problem. I was wondering where this guy was. 90 firepower. <laughs> that's the big dog unit of the Confederate Army on this map. Uh, I believe that is Longstreet's unit himself, although you can't really see him. <laughs> so I don't exactly want to move into him, I want him to move and attack me. So I'm going to just keep these two guys rested back here, and we'll see what they do. I believe that takes care of everybody. You can't do anything more if I cycle through units here. Yeah, it's the best I can do. So let's go ahead and save the game here. So make sure in the event of a crash, I still have this. Artillery fires. Units move around, and I get attacked. I shouldn't be skipping through these reenactment videos. I guess I'm just used to playing this on my own and like blah 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 blah. I usually disabled them. The attacker, eh, whatever. Now, big dog unit there that I referred to earlier. He actually didn't move. Instead, he appears to have rested and is now at. <laughs> 98 firepower. Whoo, kind of wish that didn't happen. <laughs> Could have done without that fucking happening, that's for sure. But we do have more reinforcements. And since you have decided to step up to where all of my infantry can shoot you, bro. Mm-hmm. I mean, by all means, go ahead, walk into a death trap. Just imagine, you guys could have just won the game if you had stayed back behind your fucking fort, but no! God damn you, Confederates! About to fucking school you on war! War school! Look at this unit! This unit is like, fuck me, fuck my life, fuck everything about my life, yet I don't want to attack him, because if I attack him and force them to retreat, I'll be exposing myself to him. Well, unless I attack through this way. But that 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 unit's different. I wasn't shooting him. I could charge. Eh, don't like my situation enough to charge. Maybe I do. Now nah, let's just execute a standard attack. I'm attacking from the high ground. Hooray! I hurt your feelings. All is as it should be. Sherman, uh, I think I'm going to move him here. And I'm going to flip him into fighting stance. I'll keep him, like, in the back here. So whenever I need to interchange out some units, he'll be good to go. You can once again go ahead and rest, At although that didn't really do much of anything. At ease, man. You can only rest for so much. Come on, now. Hmm. Guess having that there wouldn't be too bad. Go ahead and move this guy up. Oh, and I have more friends. More friends? Look at Peck here. Oh, yeah. Peck is about to fuck you up. <laughs> fuck you up. Save game, save game, save game, 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 save game, 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 and just rest and resupply. Only a trickle of supply can get through due to the two Confederate units here, but that did do a bit. I probably should have had him dig in. Oh well, too late now. Getting pew pewed at, you fuckers! How dare you pew pew at Grimmith! Oh, that unit's backing the fuck up. And now these guys are attacking uphill. You'll notice that they have their own little, uh, victory flag up there. Oh, God. James Longstreet's unit fucking pounced. The defending general received a mortal wound. Yikes. It has been replaced by his second-in-command. Oh, I just skipped through too many fucking things. Basically, shit. He charged me! Son of a bitch! Oh, you will pay for that. 
I'm gonna make him fucking pay for doing that. Are you fucking kidding me? You dare to expose yourself like that? <laughs> I'm going to surround him. I am pissed now. Fucking pissed. save here make sure the game doesn't crash cuz despite you know one of my units there you know uh, you take a look at the casualty report I've definitely uh, uh, had a leader killed here and apparently I only have ne I have negative one victory points but he dared to charge ahead with that guy into me oh fuck no I've got to completely surround him now which is, well, I'm not going to say that's going to be fucking easy, but that's what I'm going to do. And the first thing i got to do, then, is get rid of this guy so I can move all my units around properly. So, let's go ahead and invest in that. Get them the fuck out. That cost me 320 army morale points there. But I do believe it will be worth it in what I'll gain from what I'm planning. You son of a fucking bitch. The only thing I'm worried about is uh, if that guy, uh, if Longstreet's unit charges here at this artillery battery, considering how weakened this unit is. Now I need El Hardy to move up here. I need this guy to move there. And I need you to move there combat position. So, move, move. <laughs> My name is Captain Badass, and I'm about to fuck you up. <laughs> oh, and those guys aren't even in a combat position. <laughs> That guy in the pink shirt always messes with me. It's like, what? <laughs> he doesn't belong? <laughs> what the fuck is he doing on this map? <laughs> Alright, where can you move? Okay. So, I am worried about these guys. Gonna have them dig in. And hope like hell that position holds if I can't get this unit to uh, surrender. So... Strong guy goes first. Sherman. I won't be able to execute any rear attacks, but uh, I'll have to make do with what I've got. Defender won that. Fine. I'll attack from this angle. I expect him to win this one, too, to be honest. He did, but I didn't do that poorly either. Now I'm going to attack from this angle. And, you know, just weakening the unit and surrounding it. Uh, shit, it's a shame that I can't attack from anywhere else. And in the event that things do go terribly awry, I want to make sure that I have the option open to continue to surround this guy. So I'm going to move this unit here. I'm going to change his position. So if he does charge, and he does succeed, then um, Longstreet's unit will move here and I will just move all my guys. I'm completely sacrificing my military line. I think this will be worth it. Still might lose the fucking war, but I mean, if he's gonna have the fucking audacity to do that, oh man, fuck you, game. <laughs> Let us continue. Oh, Confederate battery fires. Now, yeah, I definitely did move out of my defensive positions. I surrendered control of the hill there. But, uh... Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, he dug in. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> the time of my fucking is now. <laughs> you ain't getting free, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. 
still pissed off he did that to me. Let's see if I can put this to bed. Charge! Well, I didn't quite put it to bed. Didn't make that unit, uh, give up, but I definitely did weaken it and repaired it for... Can you charge? Probably not. But I'm gonna try anyway. A much weaker unit, but this is a rear attack, and I'm hoping it'll finish him off. I don't think it achieved what I wanted it to achieve, though. But good enough. And now... Sherman can do the same thing. Don't use your charges lightly, by the way, but I mean, come on. I just love the sound of that. Change my mind. Change my mind. <laughs> I actually want to get off of this position and back onto the hill, so maybe I should charge uphill? No, this guy has too low morale. I can't expect him to do that. I mean, I guess I could. Maybe we can get this guy back on the hill. No, I'm not quite sure I want to invest that. I'll go and use Sherman's unit. Brigade had no choice but to surrender. That's what I fucking thought. Uh-huh. Yeah, way to go there. Smooth move, guys. Well done. Well done. Didn't capture any supply because they pretty much spent it all. But, yeah. We take a look at the casualty report now. Men surrendered, 899. They're actually still beating me in victory points. But, <laughs> I'm okay. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy in the fucking face. And, uh, yeah. Now that we shot him in the face, let's move our army over, although I can't get into a combat stance there. But let's keep shooting him in the face. I think it's important. Can I keep shooting him in the face? Oh yeah, get the fuck off my... my... my place. Oh, I already shot with them. Okay. Over right time with this unit. I hadn't attacked yet with this unit. Get. The. Fuck. Off. That is the antithesis of off, by the way. You are threatening getting surrounded again, just so you know. But, I captured some spiffy supply. Hooray! And that unit is like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> His exact words, oh, fuck me. And I'm like, sorry, I don't do guys. Like, son of a fucking bitch. That's sexist. <laughs> like, shut up. Now, I could take down this guy, but I do not want to get isolated. Take a look at our victory points here. See, we've generated at least one victory point for us. That's another one that I'm going to step off of, but eventually I should be able to reclaim it anyway. Do I have any more reinforcements? No. Take a look again at uh, the casualty report, and things are looking better for me. You'll notice that the Confederate victory hexes actually aren't that fucking valuable. I mean, all these have actually now lost value for the Confederacy and only possess value for me, except for that one. The focus of the war, or this fight, has now shifted up north, which is where I wanted to be, and which isn't where he should want it to be. Now, as it turns out, directly attacking an artillery battery, that station that's all set up, can actually be rather hazardous to your health. I, I know, right? You'd be like, what the fuck? Seriously? I know. And this guy who I stationed at a combat formation is going to lose some organization, but I'm going to have him move up anyway. You should not move your units while they're in combat formation, unless you must. And rather than retreat this guy, I'm actually going to tell him to dig in. I ain't giving up that victory point so fucking easily, damn it. Anybody else? All right, you. You! Should probably have taken you out of combat formation, but oh well. Now if I need to pew-pew with you for whatever reason, I can. 
I save the game? Let's save the game. Just again, just to make sure. I don't want the game crashing now and losing all this important progress there. I lost a guy, but god damn it. What the fuck I achieved? Look at what the fuck I achieved. Progress! My impact was major, damn it. And he's like, oh fuck. <laughs> and you're like, oh lol. Hmm. And you sustain more casualties. Good job. You don't think I'm just gonna allow you to leave, do you? I hope not. And oh man. This guy can't attack anybody. What a shame. I'm gonna have him move up north to here then, and I'll reset him up. Alright, who can you hit? Those guys aren't a threat. This guy isn't a threat either. Let's go ahead and hit the guy in the forest. With you. Like so. Now you hit this asshole who decided to charge up here. Like so. I said hit him! Stop trying to hit him and hit him! Oh, by the way, Union artillery in this game tends to be better than Confederate artillery. Uh, that's the way that the, the war was. Uh, Union had more supplies, material, but the South had more people with actual military experience. And they were trained to fight in the land because... Most of the battles in the Civil War took place in the South. Very rarely did they uh, head up north to engage in mortal combat, or fisticuffs as I like to call it sometimes. Also, by the way, you don't think you're escaping from me, do you? The very concept of that is unfortuitous to even consider! Oh, by the way, Sherman, you need... No, oh, you're not Sherman, you're Richardson. Regardless, you need to rest. Sherman probably needs to fucking load off his feet, too. Although, we'll have time for breaks later later. Now, who do I want to attack? I'm pretty paranoid about game crashes. <laughs> okay, that, that entire side is weak. Get the fuck off. And step the fuck back, good sirs. If you would be so kind as to kindly step the fuck back, I believe. <laughs> Just stay in combat formation. Again, I don't know whether that's actually a smart idea, but it's being done, and shit happens. Now you, I think I'm going to have you guys attack this battery! <laughs> Get out through the battery! Battery is found in me! Or, alternatively, I could have you move up. No, I think I'll go ahead and have you resupply first. Just in case. Sherman! Sure, man. A man, Sherman. Dude, man. Man, dude. What the hell? You go ahead and supply, too. We're gonna need more Pew Pew in the future. Okay. Hey, how you doing? You doing all right? Yeah, you're doing all right. You having a good time? I'm having a good time. <laughs> Let's go ahead and attack out. I was hoping they wouldn't give up their ground, because I really didn't want to advance this guy. But I can make up for that. You move back, and you step forward. They're pretty fucking pissed now. Like, are you fucking kidding me? If you move around units too much, and if you move them around a lot, or in combat formation, yeah. There's a lot of disorganization and, uh, lack of morale in that unit now. And, uh, <laughs> big dogs are continuing to move up. Not as big as we faced before, but, uh, big dogs all the same. Save game. I may have failed to move a unit, I don't know. I cycled through, so I probably didn't. I probably should advance, have advanced that guy like I did. The bright side, it looks like our friends are readjusting here, aren't they? Go ahead and shoot that guy who's ever so conveniently located on a hill. What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? I can pew pew the guy on the hill still. Maybe he'll bravely run away. <laughs> 
bravely ran away. I'll shoot this guy, I think. Especially since he's not in combat formation. Yeah. I mean, if you don't want to be prepared to receive attacks, then by all means. Whatever. I'm gonna skip those. Why am I even bothering to show them? I don't know. Change formation. Alright, guys. Do, 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 do. I'm not quite sure I want to uh, get any of my units way too close to that slog fest, but I do want to keep advancing. You should probably dig in, but only a trickle of supply got through. I should have taken care of all the units surrounding you then, huh? Yeah. That didn't repulse them at all. They're still there. Charging an artillery battery. I'm a madman. Woohoo! With mad dreams. At least I did wound uh, one of their uh, guys. Go the fuck away. <laughs> Shit! Run away! Run away! All your supplies are now belong to me. You have no chance to survive, make your time. Uh, hmm. Let's go ahead and rest this guy. Fully supply him. And rest and supply those guys too. Now you are going to Just do not like that idea. I guess all those guys are weak. And I didn't repulse them anyway. So fine. Alright, who still needs some love and attention? I think. We're going to move... They can't really advance to the forest quickly, so I can't afford to do a little formation change there. That'll be fine. And, uh, you just, uh... Eddie's, man. Keep restoring yourself. Oh, and I still got a shot with you, I think. Well, no, I don't. Damn it. Who hasn't moved? Just you two? Okay. Next turn. I should probably stop this video soon to make sure it doesn't get too long, because that's when I have a difficult time encoding things. I'll make sure this video doesn't fucking crash. Besides, especially since I got attack on the other bits and pieces from the intro onto this too. Got too distracted with, I guess, various things. So I suppose I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording now. And then when we come back, I reckon I'll be finishing the battle of... Blackburn's 4.